Okay, so this is just a very brief video to show you how do you will record um, CPD activities for revalidation purposes. So we start out on the Silip VLE homepage, so that's where you can see we're logged into now. And the actual CPD activities will be logged in the Silip portfolio. So when you're logged into the VLE, you'll be able to see here, there's a link for Silip portfolio. When we click on that, it will take us through to the portfolio and that's where we'll be entering the details about our CPD activities. Once we're in CPD, uh, sorry, once we're in the Silip portfolio, we'll be able to see the different areas here and you can create and collect your portfolio, organise it and share it with people. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to show you how to add the CPD content. So you go to the content tab here and you'll find that one of the tabs is CPD and that's where we want to add our activities. When we're in CPD, we've got a, a heading there to tell us this is the continuing professional development area of the SILIT portfolio. And so far, we don't have a CPD. So I'm going to add a log, and I'm going to do this uh, by year, so that each year you would have a different log uh, ready for then you to then revalidate. So if I'm just going to click on New CPD. I'm going to call mine 2013 CPD. You can add tabs if you want to, so I'm going to add 2013 so it's easier to find in the future. And I'm just going to save that there. So now I'm in the area of my CPD which relates to 2013 CPD activities. I don't have any yet, so uh, I'm going to add an activity here. The first one I'm going to add is uh, that I read Silib Updates. I read it online today. I might want to add some notes in there, so found um, column on finding time for CPD, very useful. Of course you can add a lot more description there um, and reflection on the actual activities. If you want to add tags there, so I'll put uh, reading. And I spent probably about an hour reading silly updates so far, so I'm just going to save that activity now. And you'll notice that it's now got an entry uh, about slip update and the description. And it will total up the hours there. So if I now add a new activity and say uh, training on VLE, location again was online. Oops. Um, that was yesterday. So of course you can skip right back and add this whenever you need to. For my purposes, I'm going to do that. Um, I received training on how to moderate a webinar using Blackboard Collaborate. You can add some tags here, so VLE webinar, um, and I spent two hours on this activity save that and you'll see now that's added that it's put them in chronological order and it's totaled up so so far I've got three hours worth of activities and as you go you can just keep adding those activities until you get to that total of a, a minimum of 20 hours and then you're ready to submit your revalidation. You can also search for them by if you use tags so that you can display activities to relate to a specific thing and that's how we go about adding our CPD activities.